Great day, it's Paul Aware. How are you today? I pray everything is going well. I'm here to shed a little light today. As you probably have noticed, I've been sharing quite a bit of information, flyers and commercials about my upcoming course. It's titled, On the Right Track, A Journey to Authorship. Yeah, it's a journey. It's not something that has been created to put you in a place where you feel like, I shouldn't have done that. I am here to encourage you, to support you, to consult with you, to facilitate a process that really is harmless, a process so that you can birth what is on the inside of you. I'm sure at this point, if you're interested in the course or you decided you're going to take the course, it is because God has put something on the inside of you that there is a message that the world needs to know. And guess what? It's all good. And we're going to have a good time doing it. So I want to share something with you that I believe will dispel some of the precautions or the thoughts that people have about writing a book. I'm going to talk to you about five of the most common reasons why people delay writing a book, a manuscript, a playwright. It could be a children's story. It could be all kinds of things. Maybe it's even a devotional. Whatever it is, I'm here to support you. The course that I've designed will cover any genre of book that you want to release. And so guess what? Now I need you to know that wherever you are in the process, it's all good. Let's talk about it. What's the first most common reason that people delay writing? Taking the launch is what I call it. Taking a leap to launch. It's so easy. I'm serious. It's easy. Because what you're going to do is to dispel, give me a drum roll, fear. Fear is the most common reason why people delay releasing their book. Yeah, it can be overwhelming. I totally relate. It took me so many years. The desire was there since I was in fifth grade. What? Watch it. Yeah, that was a long time ago. You're right. I started with a journal. That was how my journey began in fifth grade. I had a journal. And then I hit a roadblock because... I came home one day from school to my mom having coffee at the dinner table and I saw her with my diary, which happened to have a key and lock, by the way. And she was just flipping pages and I was trembling on the inside. All my little juvenile secrets, which really were no big deal. They were really innocent. And there it was. That little bug was planted. Oh, no that little opportunity for fear to come in. And it hung around, although I continued to write and journal. So I'm telling you this today because I want you to know that, yeah, fear can come in. It can get in your thoughts. And once it gets in your thoughts, then those things grow. And then another thing comes and another and another. And before you know it, you're feeling like, I won't be successful anyway. Why should I even bother? Well, that's not the truth. According to the word of God, God says he didn't give us a spirit of fear. He gave us a spirit of love and power and a sound mind. So I'm here to pull out the strength that comes through your sound mind, the power of God and love. We're going to do it in love. I'm going to show you love and I'm going to show you compassion and I'm going to share with you that I can relate to wherever you are in your journey. But it's a blessed journey. That's my declaration and that's my decree. Because what happens when we allow fear to take hold? We come, We become discouraged, right? And you lose hope, you lose faith. To the point that you just say, never mind. Well, guess what? Not today, Satan. Today, again, my decree and declaration is that you are operating in power, love, and a sound mind. It's necessary. And guess what? It's time. 
Yeah. Come on. If you're interested and you're ready to take the leap to launch, I want you to put in the comments, I'm ready to leap to launch. And I will send you a registration form. I'll send you a form that has all of the dates and the time that we're meeting. We have eight sessions. And I guarantee you in those eight sessions, you will have what you need to get ready to publish your book. Yeah. Listen, come October, you'll look back and think, wow, that was easy. Are you ready? Come on and join me. See you soon.